I feel like um, what you describe as a cult of personality was more likely to emerge on the right than on the left. Um, because I feel like people on the right have been getting told by the Republican Party my whole adult life that government is the problem, like Ronald Reagan said, and we need voting restrictions because Democrats cheat. And, um, you know, the, the, we need unregulated guns, not just for hunting and self-defense, but because we need to stand up against our government tyranny. And all this stuff that maybe works in the short term, but in the long term builds toward radicalism and I think opens the right more up to a cult of personality than the left. And I know we probably disagree on that strongly. I think that's, we do disagree on that. Um, but what I would say is the way that I look at it is those of us on the right in this moment have a particularly great responsibility and duty because this threat has emerged from the right. Yeah. We can talk about why that was. I think that, that you know, frankly, there are millions of people around the country who feel like they aren't heard. And, and Donald Trump managed to convince them that he would be their voice, um, you know, which is, of course, a, a complete lie, but they bought it. And, and he preyed on that patriotism. But, but right now, it's, I think, partly why I have been so... Um, so disappointed uh, with what I've seen from other members of my party um, in their unwillingness to step up. I think we have a particular duty to step up.